Well, we have lots of Fed speak today. Vice Chair of Supervision Michael Barr will offer more color on bank capital requirements, while San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly and Cleveland's Loretta Mester are weighing in on monetary policy. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schonberger to give us the latest details. Hey, Jennifer. Hey there, good morning, Michelle. That's right, uh, Fed Vice Chair of Supervision Michael Barr giving a major speech in Washington this morning, previewing how he's looking to strengthen capital requirements for banks with $100 billion in assets or more. Uh, Barr saying essentially that those banks with what assets of $100 billion to $250 billion uh, could be subject to some of the more stringent capital requirements that the nation's largest banks are already subject to. Barr saying quote, our recent experience shows that even banks of this size can cause stress that spreads to other institutions and threatens financial stability. Notably, banks with $100 billion in assets would be subject to count any unrealized securities losses against the regulatory capital, in effect, raising their capital requirements. Right now, only banks with $700 billion or more are subject to that. That a reaction to the events that triggered the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and one that Barr thinks could help protect against such a calamity in the future. Barr estimates the new capital requirements would be equivalent to returning the largest banks to hold an additional two percentage points of capital or an additional $2 of capital for every $100 of risk-weighted assets. Now, elsewhere, Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester says she thinks rates need to move up, quote, somewhat further and be held at that level. She hinted that the Fed's next move should be to raise rates and then hold them at that level to accumulate more data and survey the impact of the Fed's rate hikes. And also this morning, San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly speaking in Washington says she thinks that we're going to probably need a couple more rate hikes over the course of the year. She says the risks of doing it too much outweigh the risks of doing too little, though that gap is starting to narrow. Rochelle. All right. Appreciate that update, Jennifer. Jennifer Schoenberger there for us.